Sex is a wonderful thing. Sex is a beautiful thing. When two people who love one another get together under the umbrella of marriage is a beautiful thing. And I know I'm already turning people off when I say it that way. Under the umbrella of marriage is a beautiful thing because that was its intention for two married people, a man and a woman, not a man and a man, not a woman and a woman, a man and a woman coming together, creating a union. Sex is the byproduct of that union. Anything outside of that union is a sin. Anything outside of that union is adultery. Anything outside of that union is fornication. You know, I, I know, you know, I, I'm, I'm guilty of that also, whereas I'm guilty of the fact that I had sex before marriage. But once you get to know God, once you get to know the ramifications, once you get to know the meaning of what's what, then it's time to grow up. The world tells you it's okay to have sex outside of marriage while you're in marriage with someone else. The world tells you to have sex with an, um, someone of your same gender. It's okay. And then when you really get caught up in the sin nature of it, then you get caught up in it like Diddy. And when I say Diddy, I mean, because with sex and money comes power. At that point, you get to, you, you, you start to manipulate people. Vince McMahon being another one here recently. In the same manner, same mode, and so many others here that we've heard about here recent. Whereas they have used sex to control people. They have used sex to manipulate people. And the more perverted the sex is, the more weirder it gets. You start having sex is a twosomes, threesomes, foursomes. It goes on and on. But then you don't, you, then you start to want it in different ways. That lust starts to build, even to the point where then you start having sex with animals. And that's really, really perverted then. And the Bible talks about all of this. But it starts out as a, an innocent thing. And it's always on the, under the guidance of love. Always. It starts out that way. And then it mushrooms into a greater sin. Fornication, be it sex outside of marriage, is absolute sin. Again, people don't want to hear this. But I'm speaking about it anyway. I remember there are times when there was that period in my life when I didn't want to hear it. But I'm speaking about it anyway. Sex has brought many men down. Go ahead. Think of the many people off the top of your head who you can think of that, that have been brought down by sex. There's countless of them. Many, 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 many men. All because of sex. All because of the sins of sex. And then you think of the many others while being brought down. They were brought down um, not just mentally, but physically con contracting diseases. So there's a whole host and slew of things coming at you when it comes to sex. You have your good, you have your bad. The choice is yours. Do it the right way. Sex 
in marriage and only with that person, be it male and female, or sex the wrong way. Sex before marriage. Having sex while in marriage with someone else or having sex with the same gender. And I haven't even touched on the most egregious, I would say, because it involves a child. When having sex with a minor, a child, now you really hit the lowest of the low. Because that sex mushrooms into something more evil, more sinister. Whether it be you're looking at pornography, and that's another thing where it, it, it adds on, it manipulates your thought process, and you begin to, again, you're, you get, you, it's, like, it's, like, it's like this. When people start out with drugs, they start out with the small thing, right? They start out with marijuana. Then it develops into, well, I need a, I need a, a, another, I need a different type of high. I need to get just a little bit higher. And then it gets into something else. Each time it gets into something more harder than the next. Same thing with sex. It starts out as seemingly two innocent people, and then after a while, one may go off the rails. I need, I need more than just her. I need more than just him. And depending on your upbringing, depending on your personality, it can tend to get very sinister. Have I talked about rape yet? Child pornography? It goes on and on. But again, the choice is yours. Take sex seriously. God's intention or what man says. Enough said.